everybody, it's Candy from the Candy Show. Happy Valentine's Day. I am gonna bring you two different Valentine's looks. This is what I'm calling my Valentine Makeout Look. So the two looks I'm gonna do are the Valentine Makeout Look and the Valentine Rockout Look. Because I understand that not everybody always has a Valentine, but that's no reason to give up an opportunity to have some really cool pink or red drinks and go out on the town. So, if you like my Valentine's Day makeup look, then keep watching. I've already got started by applying my Heart Candy Sheer Envy Face Primer. And then I put on my Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Foundation and my color is 100 Ivory. And I applied that using my F60 foundation brush from Sigma. And then I filled in my dark circles and a zit and a few other things using my Kat Von D uh, tattoo concealer. And I used her concealer brush to put it on. And finally, I put a dusting of e.l.f. high definition powder and I put that on using my F30 large uh, Sigma powder brush. I want to make sure that my lips stay nice and moist throughout the tutorial until I'm ready to deal with them. So I'm going to use my Lancome Rouge Absolu. It's actually called La Balm. So it's just a lip balm. And I'll just... Anyway, we'll let that moisturize as we move on. I am going to put a little bit of bronzer on and I am going to use the Physicians Formula Happy Booster bronzer because it has a nice, not full of glitter, but it has a very nice luminosity to it and what I would, I guess, call a shimmer. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools bronzer brush, which I use for all my bronzers because I love it. And I'll just get some product going and I'm just going to hit myself where the sun would likely hit me. Sort of just gonna hit most of my face, but concentrating on those high parts like my nose, like my chin, on my cheekbones, across my forehead. Um, and then I always like, because my neck, I have a big, see I have a big double chin here. Actually, there you can see it. it's like, uh. They say as you age, you're either gonna wrinkle or droop. And at 43, I'm realizing that I'm doing pretty well wrinkle-wise. I don't even really have much crow's feet to deal with, but I'm gonna be a drooper. Look, I'm getting jowls. So I might put a tourniquet on the top of my head and just squeeze myself up. Anyway, because I have this big double chin, I like to get bronzer on it. And that way it doesn't stick out so bad. It looks a little bit more shadowed down there and actually when I'm performing for stage, I really darken it. I use a Ben Nye contour that looks like pretty much brown. For my cheeks, I do want a pretty pink staying with the Valentine's look. I'm wearing a red shirt, but I am gonna use a nice pale, what I call an innocent pink for a not so innocent girl. I'm gonna use Benefit's Dandelion. See, it's just a really pretty pale pink. I'm going to use my Sephora number 131 angled natural blush brush to apply that. So get some product on and I'm just going to kind of hit apples of my cheek, push my hair back and just play it back a little bit. And then I always like to put a little bit of my blush just up here above my brow. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I am going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I'm using Candlelight. As you can see there, Candlelight just has a little bit more of a shimmer to it than the regular one has. And I'm just going to use my fingers and blend that really well all over my lid. And I get a little bit underneath too, just so that whatever I put under my eye also stays in place. But you want a nice thin layer, see how that kind of evens it out a little bit. And although the light is bright in here, you probably can't see, it does create a little bit of a shimmer on the eye. I am going to use the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. See, it has 88 beautiful warm colors. Now, using a MAC 239 brush with this color right here, five from the white side across the top. One, two, three, four, Five. It is sort of a pale cream color and we just want to get that 
piled on to the lower part of the lid. Now using the back of that same 239 brush, this is pink, I'm just going to turn that around. I am going to go in with an interesting color, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's three in and three up from the gray corner and it's almost like a like a shimmery taupe but it seems to have a little bit of silver almost a little bit of mustard and just starting at about the center of the eye packing that on the lid now we're going to get a dramatic and darken up the outside I am going to use my pink Coastal Sense dome brush or crease brush, I guess it's more of like a crease brush and right on the very bottom in the middle right here is a beautiful chocolate brown we're going to take that chocolate brown and come on the outside see we get in here on the outside of the lid about the outer one third and then work it up a little bit into the crease work that up into the crease now we're going to take a MAC 217 brush and we're going to go in from the white side we're going to go one two three in and it is kind of a beigey white so we get that on the brush and we're going to put that up here under the brow bone sorry i got some on my eyebrow but put it on the eyebrow on the brow bone and then work it around the edge of that brown now you might find as i tend to find that sometimes once i work things in i'm not getting quite the depth i'm looking for so i'm going to use my same crease brush but now i'm going to go in three in from this side from the dark corner it's almost like a burgundy brown it's like a brown with some purple in it and I'm just gonna add that little bit of accent not up into the crease though just on the lid well, I usually like to line my eyes with black I am gonna use a brown to go with the browns of my eyes and to just kind of soften it up because once again the whole idea of this look is that hopefully I'll be making out later <laughs> so I think brown just creates a little bit of a softer look when you're up close it's not as harsh so this is totally different from what I would be doing if I were gonna be on stage or you know lights I'm really thinking of the bedroom and of uh, soft light and what this will look like so I am going to use Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in Rockstar and with that I am going to line my upper lash line starting at the outside working my way in and also my bottom lash line and if it's not perfect you don't have to worry about it because we are going to smudge this out then I am going to take my MAC 219 pencil brush and I am going to select the brown on the very corner of this palette it's a nice dark brown and with that I am going to set this liner on the top and bottom by just going back and forth and smudging it out with my pencil brush now believe it or not in that whole big Coastal Sense 88 palette there's not one single color that I really like for highlighting the inner corner of my eyes so I am going to switch to the Too Faced here it is Romantic Eye palette I wish I had better lighting so you could see but they're really beautiful colors so anyway using that this very top color called Day but it has a beautiful glitter I'm going to use it and I'm using a tiny little brush that I got with my Maybelline gel liner and with that brush I'm just going to put a little bit of that highlight color in here and take it a little bit across the bottom of my tear duct it's Valentine's Day and a glitter girl like myself is not going to go through Valentine's Day with no glitter on even if it is going to be a makeup session so I'm going to use something which I'm I am totally going to feature in one of my future favorites videos it is the Sephora glitter eyeshadow brush it's called a brush what it actually is is a very flexible uh, rubbery type silicone I guess it might be a little triangle and what it does is it picks up glitter and puts it on your eye without a whole bunch of fallout. It's cappuccino. It's cappuccino glitter. I don't know if you can see how beautiful. It's just a beautiful brown glitter. Look, this is so cool. You just take this. Hopefully you can see this. And you just touch it. Touch it on the glitter. 
and see it picks up a whole bunch of the glitter and then we're just going to place it just on the outer corner not up into the crease just on the outer corner of the eye now it's hard to pick that up on this camera uh, but when I do the still photography hopefully you'll see that it is a very subtle my Anastasia brow pencil which look everybody I'm still using it so small I'm just gonna fill in my brows so once I get my brows filled in the way that I want them then I'm gonna take my makeup forever brow seal and I am just gonna lock those brows into place I am not going to use false lashes there's no question false lashes are unbelievably sexy they look spectacular however <laughs> later when you are making out and if you are making out the right way you get sweaty your hair gets messed up and for me sometimes actually oftentimes because of the sweat and the friction and everything else that's going on my false lashes will move on my eyes and it is unbelievably attractive to have your false lashes like half sticking up and so what's the alternative you pull them off and you slam them on the nightstand and there's nothing worse than your lover getting up to use the washroom the next morning and thinking that there's a spider on the nightstand but realizing they're just your gross lashes from the night before so that's my justification that's why I'm not gonna go with false lashes with this look first I'm gonna take my one dollar elf lash curler and curl my lashes now I am gonna put many coats of mascara and I am using the Sephora full action extreme effect mascara and this mascara is supposed to lengthen thicken curl there my mascara is on line my waterline and I'm going to use the Ramundan soft coal Kajal eyeliner pencil in pure white and I'm just going to use that to get right in here and line that waterline uh, using benefits powder flage and the little brush that they give you when you buy the powder flash and I'm going to just extra add some extra concealing underneath my eye I am going to highlight a bit because again I'm thinking about the candlelight and I'm going to use another benefit product for that I'm going to use benefits high beam they refer to this as supermodel in a bottle I've used it for a long time and never woke up as a size 2 so I'm not sure how supermodel in a bottle it is but as a highlighter I love it so I, I have a metal palette that I use almost like a painter's palette and I put all my stuff on it so I got my highlighter on there and then I get a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to come up here above a little bit down my center of my nose I'm going to put a little on my cupid's bow I do want that beautiful color on my lips but I want my lips to be soft and to look kissable and approachable so there's a new product out um, lots of you know I love the Revlon lip butters but this new one that Maybelline came out with baby lips I think is going to serve us even better because uh, Revlon lip butters does still have a lot a lot of color which can smear this one won't be as bad so I'm going to use this in number 25 pink punch and it really is um, a lip balm but with a little bit of color so no liner it makes a nice kissable pink uh, well any of you who follow me on Facebook or Twitter or even my YouTube channel you know that I think Crystal Rain is um, just one fantastic glitter goddess I found her on YouTube I guess over a year ago now and she has a video about making homemade glitter spray and she uses this rose water and glycerin made by heritage products and I followed her tutorial and I made myself uh, a shimmer spray and if you want to know how to do that go to crystalrain.com it's k-r-y-s-t-a-a-l-r-a-i-n.com put in her search engine homemade shimmer spray and it'll come up and so I am giving myself a light spray with that so that will set the makeup and although on this rinky dinky camera you can't see it in the candlelight every so often when I move it'll leave just a beautiful shimmer on the face and when it comes to shimmering or glittering crystal rain will never steer you wrong 
And of course you can't forget about your fragrance on Sweetheart's Day. And so the fragrance that I'm wearing today that I've chosen is the Kat Von D. I have it in the purse spray. The Kat Von D Saint Perfume. A little on the wrists. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Here is my final look on my ears. I'm just wearing um, a hoop earring, but these are a little special because they have little rhinestones down the hoop and I got these at the guest store in Toronto. Also from the guest store in Toronto, on my upper hole I'm wearing a pair of really big rhinestones. On my hands I'm wearing my In Coco uh, Dry Nail Applique. This particular one is called Cupid's Bow. You see there's a bow um, wait for that to focus. There we go. A bow and then a bunch of hearts. So just so cute. On this hand I have a super cheap but super cute kind of a white resin ring with a lot of rhinestones in it that'll pick up that candlelight nicely. I paid five dollars for that ring on eBay. And on my other hand one of my favorite Betsy Johnson's. It's a huge big, see how thick it is? Zebra print heart. But there are all little rhinestones around the outside. I just love that. I just did it in a straight blowout. I didn't use a, a straight iron or anything because again if I'm going to be making out I wanted a hairdo that could you know withstand the uh, the friction of the pillow and still be able to just be kind of finger fixed in place so that when I wake up in the morning I still look cute. So whether you're going to make out or rock out I hope that you have a really sweet valentine and I am sending a glitter covered candy kisses from me to you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.